how to descale your lazy spa and avoid that E02 error code. We all know that scale is an appliance killer. It coats heating elements and that creates hot spots, which in turn causes the element to fail. Now scale is easy to see when it's in your kettle, but not so easy to see in washing machines, dishwashers or hot tubs. But it is there. Has your hot tub water got white bits in? Like we have here. But I did manage to scoop some up into a glass here in the left of the screen. Well, those bits are scale and they've come out of the, the heater unit because that's where they form and they break off the heater element, circulate their way into the water. But having bits of scale in your tub water tells you that there's scale in the uh, heater unit and that needs cleaning out. So let's get right on it. Remove your chem connect and filter unit and put your blanking caps over the inlet and outlet. Disconnect the pump unit, undo the air jet union last, because water will come out of that. Move your pump unit to one side and put the blanking cap on your air jet unit. If you've got a hose with a jet nozzle through the bottom inlet pipe, give the pump a wash through. That might wash out any loose bits of scale, which means there's less work for your scale solution to do. I'm choosing to use this easy scale unit that I've purchased from uh, kelvinsgadgets.co.uk. I did order something called EO2 Blaster, but there were problems with the delivery and the vendor was uh, very uncommunicative. But to be honest, I prefer the design of this because it's got a drain port on it. Decide which two ports attach to your model of uh, heater unit and put the blanking plugs on the other two and just tighten them down finger tight and then screw the unions onto the easy scale just the same way you would if you were connecting your tub back up. Again, just do them down finger tight and gently fill it with cold, fresh water to just pass the top union. And if it's dripping out of your unions like this one is for me, just tighten them down a bit, top up if necessary. Switch the power on and make sure it circulates. Stop the pump, let the air settle out a few moments and just top up again if necessary. Top tip, if you're thinking of buying a second hand unit, you could use one of these as a tester to make sure that it works. You're going to need one anyway to descale it eventually. This easy scale comes with some spare seals and also comes with a uh, sachet of Oust descaler. They don't have any affiliation with Oust, they just happen to like it. But you can use whatever is your favourite descaling product. My favourite is this Astonish. But don't throw the sachet away and throw the seal away with it. Keep those, you'll need those as spares. Set your pump temperature to 40, switch the heat on, leave it for at least half an hour. I've used this pump for two seasons and not descaled it and we're getting scale in the tub so uh, I suspect that it might even need two treatments. So I'm going to let this run for an hour and we'll come back to it. The temperature should get up to 40 very quickly. After all it's only heating a couple of litres of water and the green light should come on indicating that the heat has turned itself off. If you find you get an overheat warning or it turns itself off due to overheat, then drop your set temperature down to 38 and go again. It's also quite usual for the solution in the uh, descaler to go a funny milky white. When you think your descaling has had enough time, release the keypad lock, turn the heater off and the circulation off and turn the power off. With a suitable bowl or a bucket, undo the lower of the connection points and drain the water out. Tip it forward a bit to get the last of it out. I can see loads of scale bits in the bottom of there. Rinse the easy scale. Put the cap back on. Refill the easy scale. And circulate again to rinse out the pump unit and drain again. I'm going to repeat the descale process because we've never done this before and I've used it for two seasons but I'm sure I don't need to insult your intelligence by showing you that again. Top tip, when you're undoing the unions and you're remaking the unions at the uh, tub again, do make sure that the unions have got the o-rings and seals in place, uh, that there are none missing and no big splits. You can replace them if that happens. It's a good opportunity to check and reload your chem connect if that's what you're using and put a fresh filter in your filter unit and away you go. I'll put a link to this in the description along with the uh, Kelvin Gadgets website link where there's lots of advice and hints and tips. If you got value from this video, please consider supporting the channel and I shall see you next time.